Hello, welcome to Brockwell Lane. Uh, not my layout this time, but the, uh, the club layout, uh, which I'm a member of in Chesterfield. The uh, Wingfield Railway Group by Chesterfield Railway Modellers. Uh, this is the uh, club room, and this is the main layout we have here. It used to be an exhibition layout, but it's getting on for about 30 years old now. Um, it's passed, uh, passed hands a couple of times and uh, we're just uh, using it now as uh, a club based layout for people to run whatever they want. It's based on Haslam Shed in the uh, well, 30s to 50 period I suppose where the roof had burnt off. I don't think it was unique in steam sheds where the, uh, they had some, some sort of accident and the roof had burnt away and they just kept using it made good but that's the state you see it in now it does mean you can look inside and see the turntable which does work recently repaired that we are working hard to uh, renovate it and bring it up to modern standards We've recently been replacing all the lights in the yard and also the uh, station building. And tonight's job, I believe, is to put some lights in this church. So I brought a box of bits and I'm going to do what I can in a couple of hours tonight. It's not the only layout. We also have this second layout, which is end-to-end -end station, more modern design, uh, called Stonedale. This is also a retired um, exhibition layout, which is now based at the clubhouse. And again, we're, we're working on this as well. A little bit of a preserved shed over there as well. So we've got quite a substantial fiddle yard as well for uh, club members to bring in their own stock. And also a little N gauge and O gauge layout, or end to end anyway on the O gauge, but the N gauge uh, goes all the way around and to a terminus station. So one job I've been tasked with is putting some water in this uh, water tower. Right, so I'm going to put some perspex in there and some magic water or something to. Uh, make that look a little bit better as well and bring it a bit more up to date. Here we are making stained glass windows out of quality street wrappers. And when you see it uh, finished you'll see how effective it is. And there we are completed with the quality street wrappers and a torch shining underneath. That's going to go in place, it's nearly finished, but that gives you a good idea how it's going to look. Is that enough work? So the church is nearly done, uh, it needs some lights fitting in there and a couple of windows finishing uh, but I think that's uh, going to look really good and you've seen what the layout looks like with the lights off and uh, the shed illuminated. So I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this layout, uh, there will be a lot more of this in the future. Uh, subscribe below, uh, comment and I'll see you next time on Brockwell Lane. Thank you very much and bye bye.